Aaron, did you think that your film would be as divisive as it is? Yeah, I think we did. Um, <laughs> I, we knew it was always going to be an assault of the senses and um, very intense. But, you know, then again, if you read any record, any paper of record, and you actually look past the headlines, um, what happens in any A section of a newspaper is a lot more messed up than anything that's in my movie. But I think once you put it into a house and put movie stars in front of it that you're empathizing with, it becomes a different level of intensity. And that was the idea behind it. But we knew it would be all over the place and a big explosion. And we were excited about that. We were excited to make a film that um, would have conversation and would have big debate. No, no, I didn't abandon you. They just lost the son. They lost, well, two sons. I was helping them. This is not about us, it's about them. No, it's not about them. It's about you. It's always about you and your work. You think that's gonna help you, right? Nothing does. I rebuilt this entire house, wall to wall. You haven't written a word. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't write. How do you handle the critiques? Do they hurt? I don't fully allow myself in front of them. I, I, you know, my mentor, Stuart Rosenberg, always said, um, bad reviews hurt, good reviews are worse. <laughs> and I thought that was <laughs> Great very line. smart. Yeah, yeah, it was a good line. Very and, good line. Um, <clears throat> And I sort of live by that, but in today's world, because of just how connected everyone is, you can't sort of escape information coming from different places and, and, and bombarding you. So I have, a, I have a sense of what's going on. It, it doesn't upset me, it excites me that you know, people are arguing in discussions. I think that's the sign, that those are the films that inspired me, the ones that people leave and you're just breaking down and figuring out and seeing different layers and you know, seeing the, all the different ways of thinking about something. The, the fear for me is to be a disposable piece of cinema that, you know, it's like a McDonald's meal and the mm -hmm. wrapper goes in the trash and two hours later you're, you're like, what, what did I see? With the Harvey Weinstein story, we're dealing with sexual harassment, we're dealing with abuse. Wright is kind of the lowest person on the totem mm -hmm. pole historically. Have you been abused by producers, by the system, any of you? I've been pretty lucky. I mean, I guess I had one very publicized fight with a studio, you know, over the final cut of Noah. Um, and there were a lot of pressures coming from not just commercial ends, but, you know, personal religious beliefs as well. And that was a rough journey to get through. Um, eventually, you know, because I get the films I make are so, uh, I guess, uh, strange in how I put them together. They're very hard to sort of re-jigsaw puzzle them into anything else. So ultimately, I ended up getting the film I wanted to make. But, um, you know, I, I thought there were questionable ethics when you go into something very clear about what you want to make, and everyone's upfront about it with incredible clarity that this is what we're making and it's signed off on, and the screenplay is greenlit, and you deliver that, and then you, know, then you have to deal with um, pressures. But I, I understand that that's also the game of making a film for $115 million. Darren, one, what, what I really cherish about your, your films and your craft is that you, you are able to show how diving into something completely stressful, completely uncomfortable, completely assaulting, can still be entertainment and can still be fun. Thank you. And it's one of those things that- but Does it have to be fun? Should a it, film it should be, be entertaining. It entertaining. I think yeah. rule yeah. number one is you don't bore an audience. You know, you have to, even if they're not enjoying themselves or they're off, as long as they're engaged and they're with the character and they're following the plot and they're not sort of staring off into space or thinking about their second screen, that's our goal. And that, that's the, how do, you, how do we keep people from watching our movies at home without a second and sometimes third screen, which is, you know, happening everywhere. And, and mm -hmm. the only way to do that is to keep it coming and, and to engage emotionally. Ready? Okay, quiet on set. Mm -hmm. okay. And I lock down the lens. Yeah. Let's do it. 
Hi, my name is Darren Aronofsky. I'm Aaron Sorkin. Emma Stone. Alice and Janney. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching The Hollywood Reporter. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter on YouTube.